So, <clears throat> hey there, welcome to photo. Hey there, welcome to Northlight Photographic Workshops. <clears throat> um, I'm Bill Schwab, as you know, and uh, I'm probably not going to keep introducing myself every time, although you never know who's watching these videos and if they've ever seen you before. So I don't know what the proper etiquette is, and I'm not all that great at this yet anyway, but uh, I'm getting better and I'm having a lot of fun with it. So what I decided to do was add a little aspect of the channel that was just a vlog kind of a thing. It doesn't always have to be about photography or whatever, you know, it can just be kind of a day in the life sort of a thing and um, <clears throat> there's been a lot going on for all of us lately uh, um, that kind of thing you know I mean today I got a new haircut my second COVID haircut I don't know how many of you have been able to get haircuts and things but uh, we're up here where I am in northern Michigan we're in phase five of our plan um, and phase six is post pandemic so we're supposedly doing fairly well around here and there's a fairly low incidence of um, of infection but we're um, you know it's rising it's rising everywhere and uh, finally people are done with the mask thing and whenever we're out in public or that kind of thing people have been wearing masks and they've been pretty good about it although I live in a part of the country where a lot of people don't really believe that there's a uh, problem out there so it's kind of hard at times but everybody's entitled to their opinion until it affects each and every one of us so hopefully everybody's getting together around the uh, country and we're gonna get rid of this thing but all that said and aside this little bit of a video vlog that I'm gonna do is gonna be an addendum there's not gonna be anything really instructional or anything it's just gonna be a little bit of a chat and a way to alleviate some boredom and uh, <clears throat> anyway today I got a message on email saying that my package had been delivered from Cerritos California and I'm quite excited to say that Osmo is home, I think. It's probably up there in the road in my box right now, and in a minute I'll take a walk up there and get it and show you it, and uh, we'll, we'll check it out together and see if everything's okay. But uh, any of you that saw kind of the first little bit of these vlogs, uh, I think it was last week, maybe two weeks ago, when I was out here getting ready to shoot something like this here, and uh, the Osmo was sitting right here um, on a tripod, and I moved the tripod a little bit, and everything just fell off and went clunk on the ground and it broke into two pieces and anyway you can see the video up here it's just a little short little complaint video um, but I got everything together with DJI and I um, you know online I filled out the uh, the proper paperwork and and uh, you know agreed that I, I would pay for at least um, it to be evaluated that kind of thing and I packed up the pieces in the box and sent it off well, a few days later when they got it, I got a really nice letter, um, you know, an automated letter, but a nice letter saying that they'd received my thing and that due to a DJI refresh, I was going to be entitled um, another one as long as I paid for. I think I had to pay for the parts or maybe the labor, something like that. But in any event, it came out to $91, which was ridiculous. That was very cheap in comparison to what I thought it would be. So I, uh, I paid up and... Um, and Today I get message that it's here. Uh, they kept up with it along the way though. If you've ever had a DJI um, service uh, um, incident, uh, they're really good about it. Uh, this is my first experience with that. And they sent me every step of the way. They sent me pictures of the evaluation. They sent me pictures of the damage. And uh, it was very thorough. And they sent me a letter the other day saying it was being sent out. And today I got the message that it was delivered. So. We're gonna go out and check that out. And uh, so why don't we go do that? So, here we go. The box was there. Osmo's home. Well, we'll see in a second here. Um, let's see. Did bring a, in anticipation, I brought out a battery and I brought out a uh, memory chip. So we'll give it a try here. Um, so there it is it's just from logistics cerritos california and uh let's see what we got here <clears throat> taped up well uh paper uh, <laughs> yeah, nothing nothing but packaging and osmo so, let's see, 
least it looks like it's all in one piece. Not the way it left here, let me tell you. Aha, there it is. There it is. Okay, so it is. Wow, either they uh, cleaned up the scratches and repainted it or they've given me a different unit. But that's okay, never mind. It'll, uh, it'll be fine. Let's see, let's put a chip in here. And uh, anybody that has one of these knows that you've got to connect it wirelessly to your a device of some sort. So let's get on with that as well. I've been looking at the little Osmo Pocket to do this, but I just like the video quality of this. And it's great to uh, walk around and take it with you wherever you go. It's kind of like having a handheld drone. So let's see. Oh, let's put the battery in here. We've got to power it up. It has its own, um, its own Wi-Fi signal that it puts out. And that connects to your phone and therefore gives you control over it. So let's see. Have to unlock this. And we'll turn it on. Let's see. There we go. Oh, springs to attention. And now it should put out a uh, it should put out a um, Wi-Fi stream that I can connect to. There's Osmo. All right, let's do this. I'm going to pan over there. There you guys are. Let's see here. And that's me. We're going to have to get the, uh, the level set and everything, but everything looks good. Osmo's working. Osmo's home. Welcome home, Osmo. <laughs> anyway, folks, uh, that's it for now. You know, um, like I say, with this little vlog, vlog I'm going to be getting, uh, getting things together to just kind of shoot on the fly wherever I am. I mean, I go wandering around up here a lot out into the, uh, the woods and I go up along the lake shore and there's lots of stuff to do and lots of stuff to photograph. And I do want to take you out and do some more photography. I know that I've been working on the wet plate series. And if you're not familiar with that, I'll leave a link to that right up here, up here right now. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm going to be getting into more instruction of doing some digital things as well. I was going to talk a little bit about ND filters and I was going to take you into uh, Lightroom and actually go out into the field, make a photograph and then bring it back into Lightroom and show you what I do to it and that kind of thing. So anyway, I really appreciate you watching. Uh, thanks for bearing with me. Uh, thanks for welcoming Osmo home with me and uh, I'm going to have some fun with this. All right. So take care of yourselves. And uh, if you uh, are inclined, Click me a, a thumbs up or a subscribe if you're not already part of this. And if uh, you know of a friend that might be interested, please give them a notice as well. All right. So uh, take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.